What's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys an updated morning routine. This is kind of like a summer morning routine, but it's also technically a documented pregnancy routine since this will definitely be the last routine I do at least since being pregnant. I have a morning routine back from January, but I was in my very early first trimester and nobody knew I was pregnant then. So this routine is gonna be a heck of a lot different. I'm a lot bigger now <laughs> and uh the house is different living arrangements are different uh, things are different today's morning routine is actually sponsored by ritual which i've talked to you guys before these have been my prenatal vitamins throughout my pregnancy they taste amazing these are the best ones that i've ever Try. They give you all 12 of the essential vitamins that you need for you and your baby, or if you're trying to conceive, but they also offer a multivitamin for men, for women, for postnatal, for anyone over the age of 50, you name it, they have it. Now, I switched over to Ritual mainly because I had seen that there are many people out there with pregnancy vlogs that were talking about loving it and I really wanted to try it. The last prenatal I was on tasted really funky. So when I got this one, these ones are citrusy and so they don't actually taste bad. If anybody struggles with like taking any kind of vitamins or with nausea or anything, having that citrusy taste was such a game changer. Plus I really like that Ritual is super transparent, not just about what actual ingredients are in their multivitamins. They're also really transparent about how they make steps to being more eco-friendly. For instance, this is made from 100% recycled materials and the mailers that you get your vitamins in are also recycled and they use plant-based ink. So they're really making strides to stay eco-friendly and make sure that their products are being delivered but without too much detriment to the planet. Plus these are vegan, allergen-free, non gmo and they have no added sugar to them so they're just the best like these are definitely the best vitamins or in terms of any of the things I've had to take throughout my pregnancy these are top-notch so whether you are thinking about getting pregnant or are pregnant or just want to change up your multivitamin or get on a multivitamin then check out ritual.com slash 20 you can use my code kaylin20 and that's going to give you 20 percent off your first month subscription and they do come to you straight to your home making it nice and easy another really cool thing like right on the along the side they have like day one day 15 day 30 this is how close i'm getting to my due date it's kind of wild anyway it's like a cool way to just keep track of your vitamins too. Check them out. I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you guys would like to try Ritual out. As for my morning routine, usually I like to wake up around 6.30. Usually I've been awake because sleeping hasn't been the comfiest thing in the world. And Ryan, my boyfriend, tends to leave for work right around that time. He usually likes to get an early start to the day because he works outside. So getting that early start, especially in the summer, is really important, which leaves me with the whole house to myself to basically keep my morning routine for me. usually head downstairs, make a cup of coffee, make some breakfast, eat my breakfast while I wait for my coffee to brew. And then once that's done, I will grab onto my books and read while I sip on my coffee for about 45 minutes to an hour. Are you hound dog tired singing all night long? Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you?
been one or two since I ran into you. Do you need a picture? Well, I get so. Lately, I've been reading Every Summer After as my final summer read, as well as uh, Letters to a Star Seed. Those have been my two books lately, and I'll read those until about quarter to eight. I haven't been able to get as much exercise in as I would like, or at least daily exercise. I used to be a big like workout person. I would go into my yoga room and either bike or do weights or whatever it is. Lately, I've just been able to get a good stretch in, which is all my body can really take right now. So I'll take five minutes to just get some mindful movement in. has been really good for my body. My body feels so much better on the days that I do stretch, especially in the mornings. And then I just take about five minutes to sit in silence and sometimes I'll journal. If I feel called to it, sometimes I don't. It's really kind of whatever is suitable for that day. Some people change when they grow old But I don't want to say that you've been wrong Because I'm not when it comes to self-care especially with when things get really hectic and when things get really busy if there's only one thing I can do it's literally just having even if it's only five minutes to do two minutes of stretches and then three minutes of just sitting with myself sitting with my thoughts just like it doesn't need to be silent in the sense of my mind I don't need to quiet down the thoughts that I'm having I just like to take a moment to become aware of them or to become aware of the feelings I have that day it makes such a big difference for me because I feel like otherwise I kind of float through my day unconscious and not really aware of what's driving my moods my decisions and all of that and so it's just like a nice moment to kind of connect with myself before I jump into whatever is happening that day and also to gauge where I'm at so that I can basically expect what I need to expect from myself so if I'm really tired in the morning which third trimester has been so normal to within an hour of being awake feel really tired again at least then I know when I go to get ready and start my work day that if I'm feeling just like slower or lower energy I can be a little bit more compassionate with myself while still kind of nudging myself to do the things I need to do if I do get to journaling as well I feel like it's been nice to have that documentation of just what's going on, how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll make lists because it just helps me feel organized if I'm feeling a little disoriented or like overwhelmed, especially in these last few weeks leading up to delivery. I've been like, oh my gosh, there's still so much to do. And so I'll write down a little list and be like, okay, I can do this this afternoon now. And just little things like that have definitely helped me feel more centered. Even if again, it's just for five minutes. Everyone wants to be swept off their feet. And then I'll jump straight into getting ready. 
which I have a new little getting ready station in my bedroom now. Do my makeup, do my hair, throw on an outfit, put on some lotion, brush my teeth, get all that stuff done. Now I am out of so many products. I'm planning on going to the drugstore and topping up. I need like new brow pencil, new moisturizer. Like I'm running low on everything at the same time, which is kind of nice because then I can go and kind of refresh my getting ready routine before baby comes and then I have things stocked up. From the start, I would get in over my head. Your playful heart is not to be played with. It's all that they say, and then some more. And then I come down here and lately the couch has been my desk because it's much comfier to sit on and I'll pop open my laptop and I'll begin my day. I usually like to spend from 9 till about 10 just doing some administrative work on my computer. I'll check my emails. I'll check in on my uh, project board where me and my assistant are both signed in on so I can like delegate some tasks if I need to, check in on the content I'm working on that day and set up my day for about an hour or any kind of little things I need to do in the background so that once 10 o'clock hits, I can start filming and just get on with the rest of my day. Then it leads into my evening routine, which I can do. If you guys wanna see, maybe I'll just throw it into a vlog instead of making it a full dedicated video, being that I'm like kind of weekly vlogging again. So I have definitely got a good rhythm going down that I'm basically gonna ride the wave on until whenever whenever little one decides he wants to make his entrance, make his appearance. It has been so nice to get back into a morning routine because I had fallen off for so long and just didn't really feel like I had much of a structure to my morning. Let me know down below what's your morning routine like. Do you have a routine or just what type of things do you tend to do in the morning? Give me a good snapshot of your mornings. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to check out Ritual down below. I cannot stress enough how much these have been a lifesaver through my pregnancy. And I'll see you guys all in my next vlog. Bye.